So we're continuing to work on a 1950 panel van. And today we got to get this rear glasses out because we got to be able to sand this and clean this out. And I'm going to show you a good reason why. So we're going to keep the camera out there. Well, I guess we're going to bring it in here for a second. What we're going to do is we're going to loosen the seal all the way around so it pops up. And we already checked, made sure we could buy the seals again. Actually, these are probably original seals, but they're not really too bad. But I'm sure they're going to be a little bit weak. So can you kind of see what we're doing here? We're loosening this up. away from the body easy enough which it does now we got a razor knife handy <laughs> so seeing that we know we can get new ones what we're doing is trying to cut that right through Our blade didn't the greatest in there. Hopefully, there's another one that handle this one's backwards in there. All razor blades come with two sides, which is a good thing. Unfortunately, this one here we've already tried that with. Seeing we know these are so old, we know we can buy new ones. Okay, so we did it. We just cut the seal all the way around inside. You want to see this? Show this to a little bit, huh? So we cut that seal all the way around. And then this is just going to pull out. And Hunt, you're going to have to get on the front of this. So once we cut the seal, I'm back. And there's our rear glass. Heavier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, the old glass is built nice. Really heavy glass. Yeah, it's built a lot nicer than new stuff. So this van was like ugly dark green at one time. That's the color it was. You can kind of see it here in the color. I mean, back in the day, it was probably beautiful. But this day, I think it's ugly. It's like a... It's almost like a British racing green. It might yeah. be hard to pick up, but. So that's the color it was. So we finally found the original color of the van because we know those have never come out. So that's good. So we're gonna go one by one. We'll show you how to get all those out, but I wanna show you something real quick. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver here. And I'm gonna show you this. This is what happens when you don't clean your metal all the way down. See all this rust? See that body putty never stuck. 
None of it. They were stuck because all the rust was still left behind there. This metal's gotta be clean. Gotta be clean to get your putty on there. And if it's clean and new metal with new putty, it'll never come off. It'll be there, it'll last forever. And we don't really run our, we never run them in the winter time and that's six to eight months all the year up here. But once it's sealed up, water and stuff will never hurt it. But they just did not take the time to get all that rusty corrosion from underneath. So it looked like it held here a little bit. You can see there. Unfortunately, it didn't hold any place else. Little crack in a putty. The rust just expanded. I can I can virtually keep shoving a screwdriver in here and just popping it off. But not a good idea because screwdrivers get loose and can hurt you. So we're gonna pass on that part. But you get the idea. So we'll continue here in a little bit and we'll keep doing windows. All the glass gotta come out so we get a good clean surface. It's beautiful inside here. Uh, nobody's ever had those out. That's how we know it's original color. And get that paint flaking, clean this up. Every day is gonna be a new adventure. Keep going and going, lots of work on a panel van. Very rewarding, very few panel vans left. Highly desirable, a lot of people want a panel van. A new truck, 50, 60,000. We're gonna put, I put a four-wheel drive frame underneath here. S10, 350, 350 automatic. When we're done with this, it's going to have a brand new body, new motor, new drivetrain, which is already installed. We're going to have less than $30,000 in this thing. It's worth 30 to 50, depending on how good it comes out. Uh, the great thing is, this car is going to be here another 50, 60 years. And when it's said and done, in 20 years, if the motor blows up, you know what? I put a new motor in it, I got a good car again. Can't really say that with all the new stuff. We'll save ourselves at least twenty to $25,000 from a brand new truck. And we'll have something that'll last forever. We take care of it. That's the idea of the older stuff. It lasts forever. Doesn't lose its value. People still want them. Hopefully, the younger generation is going to continue on with this and keep wanting the old stuff once they see the value of it. Uh, you know, every, every genre is a little different. Every group of people growing up is different. You know, they call them millennials and everything else and baby boomers. We're all the same. If somebody takes the time to sit back and teach a younger generation the value behind these cars and what you have when you're done and the pride of doing it, you'll see a lot more collectors because it's good work. It's good exercise. It's good learning. And we can really maintain and hold the value of a car. Not like a new car you buy. It loses so much value every year and eventually get too many miles on them. They're not worth putting new motors into and stuff because the bodies are starting to go. These cars are not that option. They hold up. You have them forever if you take care of them. There's still Model A, Model T's running around. Been around forever. Wood wheels, they're still running. So that should give you an idea. So all the younger guys out there watching, younger gals listening, everybody younger, kind of I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you learned something out of this. Uh, appreciate your comments and stuff. And if you have any kind of questions, I think don't be afraid to let us know. We'll help you out. If you really want to know the satisfaction of this, it's unbelievable. There's nothing like building a car. There's nothing like it. Me and my son are doing this together, and we've come a long ways. We've always been together. We like doing stuff together. Huge bonding experience. If you can get your dad or maybe your, maybe your mom's a car enthusiast, get her out there, find an older car, start fixing up. You ain't going to spend a ton of money on it every day. Just working a little by little. It's a huge satisfaction, great bonding experience. It's just all around a good thing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back with more window taking out and we'll keep going from here. Thanks, folks.